about a hand for this panel? Can we get that started out? Let's set it up this way. Private foundations in Canada control $40 billion in assets. They made $2 billion in grants annually. They run significant charitable programs. They shape their communities. They sometimes shape government policy as well. Should there be more scrutiny associated with that? The fact that most of our assets are not driving impact is a huge challenge. So if we are set out to drive change across Canada, why do 95% of our assets sit in uh, public markets or other types of investment? At the end of the day, uh, you can take a poke at private capital, period. But the clear metric for foundations is whether or not they do what they're supposed to do, transfer of private resources to public goods. There's no wishing away disruption. This is a moment for foundations to get their heads way up, understand what's coming, and do the hard work of thinking through where can we make a difference. If, if a, a group like you is not seriously investing in thinking about the future, uh, and long term, by which I mean 20 years out, what is this country going to look like? What is our society going to look like? We're living in revolutionary times, right? And so if we just meet the moments, the desperation of the moment, we're not equipping ourselves toward the future. We're not taking bets that are large enough. Uh, we are not providing the highest impact opportunities with access to that institutional support. How do we provide and enable the nonprofit sector with the best of the business world to then further the impact that they're creating? The rationale for private foundations is ultimately the transfer of private resources to public and community good. And I think we'll be held accountable for that. But it'll also challenge everybody, what kind of risks are you going to take and who are you going to take them with? 